What is good? Cloudy people on the channel. It's your poop. Bob Lamb. And we got some news. Some new news. The Travis Scott is wanted like it's some Red Dead Redemption. He apparently punched the sound engineer at the club that he was performing at in, uh, I want to say, New York. Let's get to the article. Man claims rapper Travis Scott punched him at nightclub police. NYPD is not naming a suspect at this time, but they know who the suspect is. It's Travis Scott. He's wanted for questioning by police after a man claimed the rapper punched him in the face at a Manhattan nightclub early Wednesday. Uh, so that was this morning, late last night. He's probably off the touch ski. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. A sound engineer who works at Club Nebula in Midtown told the authorities that he was in a verbal dispute with Travis Scott that escalated into a physical altercation around 2 a.m., police said. The 52-year-old victim alleged that the 31-year-old Scott punched him in the face and did $12,000 worth of damage to an audio speaker and a video screen, police said. So, I'm just saying, man, Travis Scott, every time you see him at the club or performing, he's smacking some sort of uh, wall or screen screen maybe it was a speaker this time so maybe that was what happened he broke something accidentally because he smacks it so hard with just how much he's used to doing to kylie jenner's you know buns because they're so plastic and hard that you gotta really push into it to get through i know how it is trust me we out here in miami it's like i've never hit any fake pair of cheeks but one day hopefully or maybe the guy was just an old head, 52 years old, while Travis Scott's 31. Jesus Christ, he's turning into an old head low key. So Travis was like, turn that shit up. And the old guy's like, no, bro, you're going to break my hearing aid. The victim didn't suffer visible injuries and refused medical attention. The suspect fled in a car, police said. So he punched bro in the face and just left the scene. Crazy. But Travis Scott, I don't know if this is that big of a deal. Just $12,000. That's pocket change to Travis. He probably made that literally last night at his appearance or performance way more than that to be honest probably 10 times that so just pay the guy off the twelve thousand dollar speakers that are probably the venues or the engineers and then give the engineer ten thousand dollars to do a facial reconstruction like he's handsome squidward and honestly that's a net positive if you ask me he probably becomes more visually attractive especially at 52 years old man he's probably looking to do botox anyway and to get those kylie jenner hollywood type plastic surgeons man you'll come out looking like a kardashian but anyway i don't think that this is going to delay utopia i tweeted about it just as a joke because last time with the astro fest tragedy that did end up delaying utopia in that he did drop two singles like a couple days before escape plan and mafia before the festival and was planning to drop an album likely a few months later or a year later but now it's been a couple years since that incident so this type of thing is just like a regular rapper or just celebrity type incident man gets drunk or off the tootski and punches the dj at the club happens all the time i see it even with non-famous people so stay tuned hopefully nothing happens and utopia is still coming this summer around like june which i believe was the last date that the ceo of 300 entertainment or whatever label he signed to said in an interview in 2023 gonna be lit it's been your boy bob lamb signing off trying to find me a dj tonight to go punch in the face and hopefully get some insurance money make sure to like and subscribe to the bob gang if you with it oh and of course let me know in the comments what you think about this whole situation will it delay utopia peace out clap people nice here.